I'm Matt Grabelski. I'm a design engineer with Borgo working on the X30 monitor. I've been working on it for the last couple of years developing it and uh, this year we're releasing the new ISO compatible hardware so with that it gives us the option to run our Cedar through a virtual terminal display or a VT display like seen in this New Holland tractor we've got an IntelliView 4 monitor that we can run our Cedar controller software through. This option is similar to uh, the 591 with some improvements over it. Um, it's capable of doing four tank metering with control to rate capabilities and it has the ability to store uh, data so we can store our products in this with CalFactors whereas the 591 had to uh, re-enter them every time you change products. It'll have an in-cab keypad as well as the same keypad on the frame for for uh, calibrating. Um, it just gives you the uh, the ability to shut tanks on and off, master on and off, and with the calibrate on the tank you'll be able to reset from the frame rather than having to run back to the cab to reset. Uh, it's the same harnessing on the drill and tank as the X30 will use, so another bonus is if you want to update to X30 it'll uh, be a lot simpler. All you need to do is get the in-cab components and run it as the X30 option if you want to upgrade in the future. So the main screen just looks uh, like this. You can see the four tanks there. It just shows you the rate that it's applying. It also have a weight countdown. And on the main screen you have your fan speeds, your travel speed. Um, so just a very basic operator operating screen. Um, this is the product screen so we've got 16 spaces here to store store each product that you'll be using. Um, this page has four saved with uh, more spaces open. Um, and inside these products there is uh, the CalFactor saved. So you can see here that product has the CalFactor so between crops you can keep that CalFactor so you're not starting from scratch every time. And also from here is where you can enter your multi-tank calibration. Um, so like I said from the back you can run the calibration to turn on each tank and and start it from back there and reset the count so you can start fresh right from the back and no running back to the cab. So it'll also be capable of doing blocked head, um, one sensor per uh, secondary head and it just gives you a basic alarm when you have a blockage and you can check on the screen that will show you which which head it is that is blocked if you label them appropriately. We won't be supporting variable rate control from the ISO option um, and also the granular section control won't be supported but uh, you can since it uses the same harnessing and components as the X30 option you can buy the ISO for the first year and get used to the system and if you decide to upgrade it's just a simple in-cab kit to uh, install an X30 and you have the full functionality of the X30 option.